In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four steps animation infographic slide in PowerPoint. So this is how the slide works. When I click the first step come option one, you can add some icon and the detailed text. When I click the second step comes with the option two, option three, then option four, then the trophy comes. Uh, similarly, I've created one more slide where I've added the options or the color only on the one side. So depending on your requirement, you can choose or change the colors or add some additional steps and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section i have used office 2019 version to do this so let's start the tutorial Add a new slide and change the background to any light color background then go to view enable the guides and the grid lines you can see this like this then go to insert shapes from the rectangles I'm going to choose the rectangle single corner around it draw this one from the bottom maybe this much size and later on we can change the size and rotate I'm going to make it flip vertical you can see here and if you want you can make it uh, somewhat more curved shape outline make it no outline then I'm going to add one more rectangle go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle maybe till here shape outline no outline shape will make it white and send this to back all right so this is my first one then I'm going to select both of this hold the control shift key together and move it up okay and then this one i'm going to increase the size here and i'm going to reduce from the left side you can see here like this all right and here also i'm going to do that one then i'm going to select both this one again hold the control shift key move it up similar thing i'm going to do it here and from here again i'm going to reduce the size and you can see here so this is my third one and then i'm going to add one more again by holding the control shift key together move it up and move this one and reduce it from here you can see here and then i'm going to reduce from here so with this uh, we have uh, completed the basic design and now it's time to add some different color combination and let me just remove these uh, grids and guidelines then select this one go to format shape and you can give any color of your choice or if you want you can give some gradient fill also gradient fill i'm going to use two stops you can see here one stop with a dark orange and another with a gold color like this so you can see here if i make it more this one it looks like this so i'm going to uh, go to the home select the format painter click on this now i'm going to give some different color combination maybe one dark orange uh, with a light orange color you can see here if you want more darker you can change it and then for this i'm going to give maybe some green color combination a dark green uh, with a light green color okay and this one i'm going to use uh, maybe some other color so you can see here maybe a dark orange or sorry select the gradient fill dark orange with uh, the lighter one okay the pink sorry so once this is done what i can do is i can give the same uh, color combination with the help of the white colors only so for that let me just make this as also gradient now in this one i'm going to make this one as somewhat dark color and the other one i'm going to make it as white color the only thing i'm going to change the direction which is from like this here so it is more darker let me just reduce it like this all right so now use the format painter click on this or double click this and then just do this one so this shape effect also we got it and then on the right side i want to give some shadow effect for that go to insert shapes i'm going to select this a uh, freeform shape let me just zoom here all right now i'm going to click here one time this one one time here and then here 
shape outline make it no outline again gradient fill gradient fill both the colors i'm going to give it black this also black and then change the direction something like this and here also i'm going to give it black all right the only thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to select this one transparency i'm going to make it fully 100 percent no transparent and here also i'm going to give some transparent effect so now how much you want you can just reduce this one so you can see the width again if you want further i can make it more lighter all right so we got this effect also press ctrl d to duplicate and add it here one by one you can see here just add it here and then the last one just add it here so this also we got it and again if you want to add this side also it's very easy i'm going to hold the ctrl shift key together and then i'm just going to add this one and then i'm going to rotate simply you can see a flip horizontal so simply you can just do like this if you want both the sides all right if you don't want you can just simply delete also it up to you and once this is done you can go to the insert you can click on the icons or if you are using the latest version you can add some 3d models also so let me just add some icon here you can see here i can just choose whatever the best icon which i need maybe this uh, the trophy click on insert hold the shift key increase the size and put it here maybe you can give some gold color all right and then put it at the top all right so once this is done we can add few more icons also depending on your requirement so randomly i'm going to choose four or five different icons all right so let me just select four icons here and move it aside make the height as 0.7 both and then i'm going to make this as white color and then i'm going to copy it one by one or position it one by one over here all right so once this is done you can go to the insert text box and i'm going to type here option zero one write a line make it white choose some good font if you want you can make it bold also press ctrl d to duplicate again ctrl d all right so like this you can do and then change the option numbers to two three and four and then this side you can add some detailed text add detail text here reduce the font size maybe center align maybe some light color or maybe left align only press ctrl d to duplicate you can add the detailed text one by one on these particular steps all right so you can see here uh, the design is done and then uh, if you want to do some animation better to select all those things and press ctrl g to group it and then you can do any animation of your choice so you can see here i'm just going to group one by one all right then go to the animations close this one enable the animation pane so whichever animation you want for example fly in it comes like this all right so double click the animation painter so this animation looks something like this so i think uh, if you want to change some other animations also you can just change it whichever you want you can go to more entrance effects or if you want you can make it stretch also like this all right so it will come like this one two three four so depending on your requirement whatever the animations you want you can simply add those animations